Hi, I'm Michael Reeves, and I bought a toaster. I feel that it's also pretty important to mention that my desk is in a constant state of complete atrocity, and there's nothing that you can do to stop me from that. But the uh, the more important thing to mention is that I happen to buy a couple of other parts to go along with my toaster, such as HDMI cables and this small Raspberry Pi powered computer screen. And I don't know exactly how to put together a Raspberry Pi, but one time I saw somebody download software onto it from a site, so I'm pretty sure that I'm perfectly capable. This is my toaster. It's too big to fit on camera, which really sucks, but I'm gonna do my best here. And this is my screwdriver. I'm gonna unscrew the bottom of the toaster, and that's basically gonna make it, like, I, I don't know, more accessible for me to s drill a screen into the face of it. So this, this is the fun part. This is where we get to watch the magic happen. I am going to unscrew at the bottom of a toaster as slowly and painfully as possible, all the while wrapping my hands around a webcam, and that's that's about it. it. You're just gonna get the lowest resolution that you can. Okay, hi, coming back at you from the future here, I have a very slightly better webcam set up now where you can, where you can see my hands, apparently, um, if that's a necessity by any standards. You're gonna ignore my porcelain sheep and copper cactus as well. I don't know where I got those or why I have them, but they've been on my desk for many years and they're almost a religious artifact for me. That's one screw down, boys. Fuck! I need tape! I need tape. That's what I need. Porcelain sheep is still in view and we're back online. Uh, I had a minor technical difficulties there involving my webcam slinging off of my desk. But it's okay, because now I have it taped down with not brand safe free tape. Why are they using 8 inch long screws in this toaster? I don't know. It is absolutely horrendous to try to screw to try to screw these out and be graceful with it as well. Hi there. I'm storing my screws in a very safe place. As you can see, this is a bottle cap that I found on my desk. And that's really nice and convenient, and I'm really I don't understand why other people don't have continuous streams of garbage just flowing onto their desk. It's just so helpful at times. At times like these. What is the risk of being electrocuted by a toaster when not dealing with water? I think I already dealt with that in the opening clip, but I'm not entirely sure if I feel safe yet. Okay. Ow, 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 ow. We're gonna use the screwdriver. So, the entire face is coming off here. As you can see, this is going to be nice and fun. I, I don't actually, believe it or not, I'm not a toaster biologist and I do not know what the insides of them are like. So this is going to be a really eye-opening experience for me so I can really understand what it means to be a toaster. And all the screws are out. Oh. <laughs> My baby. So apparently this isn't how you're supposed to take a toaster apart and I probably shouldn't have done it. I really thought that it would be a good idea if I were just to like get this inner part out of the way. This one right here that can cook you. This is a really dirty toaster and I bought it from eBay obviously. And yeah apparently that, that doesn't work at all and I don't really know what to do now besides screw it back on and just like and get that screen on there you know. Okay, so now my toaster is back and up and running, and I'm realizing now how bad it is that it's filthy. So I'm gonna go get a wet wipe and just do my absolute damnedest to get this thing looking anywhere near the shape of a toaster. Oh my gosh, it is ingrained on this toaster. That is absurd. This is horrendous. Okay, beautiful. It looks so much better now. Uh, I feel a little bit safer touching this thing. 
And I also really hope that my little computer screen here is feels safe touching it. Okay, I think it's time to mess around with the Raspberry Pi. Hey, how you going folks? It's the next day for me. As you can see, I'm wearing a brand new shirt. Uh, it's not the same color, and I also have a new jacket on. So I ran into a small problem while I was trying to debate how, how to do this exactly. And uh, one of the issues that I ran into and found out immediately is that I do not have, I don't have an SD card reader. So this little micro SD card here, well, it can be a micro SD card if I ask it to be. I, I cannot put Raspbian onto, which is sort of the main meat of the, pro of the process here. So, I'm really just hoping and banking on the fact that it already has Raspbian loaded onto it as it's, it came with the Raspberry Pi. So, I mean, I guess we're gonna find out here. I'm just really hoping. Okay, I am now doing the honor. If my webcam decides to focus at any moment, I'm going to gently... Is that it? Nope, that's it. That's everything I have to do. Now, I need to find out how to get this plugged into this, which I am not sure how to do at all, so... Uh, I, I guess it'll... I'll figure it out. Hey, I'm back. I have really cool news. I don't have enough, um... Uh, what are those things called? Oh yeah, outlets. I don't have enough of those. So I'm gonna have to go into the other room and find an extension cord, and maybe if I'm really lucky it'll have more than just one little port on it, and I'll be able to plug this in. Because it's kind of hard to stuff a computer screen onto a toaster when there's no power coming to it. I found an extension cord, and now I'm gonna plug it into my power strip at the bottom of my computer, where all of my things are plugged in, such as my record player and my other assorted items. That point on, I don't know if I should put the screen on now or after I plug it all in, but I think I'm gonna see if it works first. Hey there, how you doing? Okay. I made it back, I have all of my cords. These are not the extension cords, this is what I'm pretty sure that I need. Um, this is, this is a little cord with two two little plugs on it that I'm hoping is going to work for what I need it to. I got this from a wireless phone charger I found. Uh, this is my phone charger right now that I'm sure I'm going to have to replace later because uh, I, I don't really want my phone to die forever. And uh, this, these two red cords, I don't know, but they do fit in some of the slots for the uh, Raspberry Pi, so. Oh, it turns on! It actually turns on, I'm so happy. Yes, thank you. Thank you for turning on. I'm gonna use the other cord though, because this one's really janky. Oh, look at that! There's a green light! There's a green light on there. It's not showing up on camera at all, but there is, in fact, a light on here. Oh, look! You can almost see it! You can kind of see it there. Look, it's glowing! It's like magic! It's fucking awesome! Alright. Step toodly do. Not step two. Don't get those confused. Very different. Step two was something else. Oh, yes! <laughs> Alright, if you don't realize what just happened, um, Raspbian is already loaded onto the SD card, and I did not have to do anything about it. Which means that I did not need any of, like, the adapt- uh, not the adaption, the SD card readers, or go through any of the hassle. It's all live. And it works. Now, I just need to plug in a mouse and hope that it functions entirely. I have a spare Red Dragon mouse right here that I don't use because my Logitech wireless mouse is apparently the strongest thing in the universe. The mouse is on. And it can control on the screen and the sensitivity is absurd! So I would really love to show what I'm doing, but my webcam isn't going to pick up on it at all no matter where I put it, so... We're just gonna pretend that you see what's happening here. English, US, please. Keyboard, US. Install, yes. Welcome to Raspberry Pi. You see that? That's a raspberry, not a pie. The pie is over here. That's the pie. That's the big, sexy, beautiful pie. 
taking up all of the space on my desk so I can power a little screen for your kids in the car. Okay, it's gonna take a little while to launch, I guess, so uh, I'm gonna pause the recording right now, and if anything interesting happens, then I'll unpause it quickly so that I have no time to scream. Error? What the hell? What do you mean, error? For full recovery mode, hold shift. Uh, I, I don't have a shift button, I'm gonna have... Oh, I have an idea. Okay, this is my rebrand miniature keyboard that I got several years ago, and it has both a mouse pad and a keypad, which is amazing. So we're gonna unplug the red dragon. I'm sorry, buddy, you just never get any use on my desk. And bingo bango, the keyboard is now plugged in, and it's dead. <laughs> it's fucking dead. Um, well, I guess it has to charge now. So I seem to have run into a minor difficulty again. Before I drill this into the face of a toaster, I kind of want it to work. So um, I'm going to try to like, I don't know, maybe remove power from it, I guess. I can't think of anything else since I can't get the keyboard or the mouse to work at all. And see if it kind of reboots on its own. And I'm not entirely sure what went wrong here, also. If, if you want any sort of, like, technical explanation, you're gonna have to go on YouTube and find a better one than me. But for right now, I'm just gonna unplug it and really hope for the best. Okay, that's a long enough time of silence for you to understand that this is probably going to take a few minutes, so I'm gonna pause my recording right here and I'll be back when I'm either done or I'm dead. Hey, how you doing? I'm back. It is 8.17pm. I just got home from a workout and I see that I've gotten another error here. I am just ecstatic. <laughs> what do I do? It should work fine and it's just simply not. I'm gonna be really upset if I can't turn a toaster into a computer. Yeah, I hate toasters. So this is absolutely terrible and I'm really angry about it. I don't know what to do, I don't know why this has happened the way it has, and I don't care. I just want it to be fixed. What can I do about this? What can I like actually do? I don't, I don't know. I've been working on this for a really long time and I'm really, uh, I'm, I'm tuckered out to say the very least. I'm very tired. I also just got back from a four hour workout, so understandably I'm a little I'm a little shaken that this has not prevailed. So either the mouse isn't working or the keyboard is just dead, which is the most likely candidate here. So I think that I'm gonna wait for it to charge a little bit and then I'll come back to it, but the problem is also I really want to go to bed. It's not that late, I'm just really tired and I'm really done with this. How do you do it, Michael? I'm gonna update one more time before I'm way too tired. It's currently 1.36 a.m. I woke up out of bed realizing really suddenly that, um, oh yeah, my software is probably finished. And to my amazement, I come over here and I'm not having a fatal error. So that's just a quick update. I'll talk to you in the morning, but for right now, I'm gonna go fucking die. <laughs> Hey, cool, my system didn't have a failure. It's 8 o'clock, er, no, sorry, it's almost 10 o'clock in the morning now. It felt like 8 o'clock three minutes ago. But uh, I just told my little computer screen here that I live in California, which is not true, but it also is a very similar time zone, and I couldn't find a closer one, so I guess I live in California now. Hey, I'm back. It's several hours later, and I really need to get this project into a more of a consecutive bit. So I'm planning to get this thing all set up onto the toaster before I head out and do anything else right now. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that necessarily, but the toaster says otherwise. Okay, so on a serious note, relatively serious note, um, this toaster is about to get its screen. It's finally going to get its wings. It's finally going to be able to reach maximum potential as a toaster. Alright, but I don't entirely know how to get the screen onto this toaster, so I'm gonna probably, like, mark out where the holes are on the screen. 
and then like sharpie it and maybe if I'm really lucky then I can find some power tools that will work for what I want to do. And if not, I don't know. I don't know, man. Thumbtacks. Oh my gosh. You don't even understand. I'm running Discord on this, and I'm gonna run it on the toaster as well. This is awesome. I love this. Alright, I think it's time for the surgery. Okay, this idea is terrible. I don't like this idea anymore. Okay, so originally on the toaster I tried nailing them in there, which went horribly. And I wasn't very happy with that, so now I have a better plan with these little clips here. I'm going to glue them on, and they're going to, like, hold the toaster up. So I'm going to start bending these a little bit now and glue them on there with some instant drying glue. And with any luck, they'll actually support the screen, and I won't have to go out and buy everything else again. A little bit wonky, but it'll hold, so I think... I'm gonna bend the other four in the exact same fashion, and hopefully, we've got ourselves a toaster computer. We're secured, boys. That's wonderful. That's amazing. Hang on, I wanna show, I wanna show what's going on here. All right, so I'm not, I'm obviously not gonna be able to show this perfectly, but that's a fully mounted screen on a toaster, and it's done with like these clips because I can't, I can't screw it on. This thing is gonna like bane because all of the cords are gonna go into these. They're gonna go in there. It's gonna be like wired out everywhere. Oh my gosh, I've never been so satisfied with anything I've ever done. Well, my Rye keyboard doesn't work. Um, that's a little sad. I don't know what to do there. But maybe that's beyond the point. Maybe the point is, is that now I have a toaster computer. This is it. This is the baby. This is the hoster toaster. This, this is what we've been working for the entire time, and it's finally finished. I am proud to announce that I am officially the owner of a toaster computer that I built by myself and with no one else to help me because nobody else wanted to help me. I can't believe that we really did it. We really did it. We really built an entire toaster computer. That's amazing. I've been wanting to do this for a very long time, and now that the goal is achieved, I, I just don't know what I'll move on to. Well, you know, in the end of it, in the end of the day, we didn't get to call Tiger, which is fine. The internet's just a little shaky, and I don't think he's online anyways, but that doesn't matter. What matters is that you stuck with me through the entire journey of building a toaster computer, and I appreciate every single one of you for coming with me and doing this. Thank you so much for watching, even if it's a little cheesy. I've never been so happy about a project being successful than this one. So, if you don't like this video, fuck you, I don't care. But, we made a toaster computer. And now, I need to find out what I'm gonna do with a toaster computer. I think I have some ideas.